Hey guys, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Capricorn for your November 2023. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Um, so we're going to take a look at the person that you're thinking of, dealing with. We're going to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read to see um, what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message did it resonate with you? You may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Capricorn people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too. So tell me about Capricorn, the person that Capricorn is dealing with, thinking of. What is this person's true feelings and intentions for Capricorn? What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Capricorn for um, November 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Capricorn. Okay, we have the Five of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. Uh, it seems like you guys are not on really, not really on the same page here. Yeah, you guys are not flowing well together. You guys are not uh, cohesive here. There's a lot of arguments. There's a lot of fighting here right now at this time. I do feel like this person doesn't want to fight. I feel like this person wants to make you some sort of peace offering here, okay? Uh, you know, I feel like you could be dealing with someone here that's very emotionally immature. Yeah, two maturity level, two maturity uh, level differences here. Um, uh, 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 and, you know, I just feel like you guys are just, yeah, I, I, I feel like there's a bit of a gap here. And I feel like that's why you, got, you, you guys might not be getting along or that you guys are not really flowing well together you know whoever this is i feel like this is an individual that's like this is an individual that tends to make promises that they don't keep and i feel like this person tries to make it up with like sex you know um yeah instead of actually like changing their behavior proving you wrong doing better here uh, it seems like this person doesn't really have the capacity to do that here capricorn so the page of pentacles capricorn towards virgo the knight of wands some of the page of pentacles here why is the page of pentacles here page of pentacles and the seven of swords you know i feel like this is not a very honest person seven of swords here and the six of cups you know one of the things i'm getting is that i feel like this is an individual not only are they dealing with you but they also are dealing with an ex here and they're lying about it yeah they're lying about it Okay, and I feel like every time you bring it up, I feel like this person changes the subject. You know, I feel like this person talks about something else. But you know what? I do feel like the truth has already come to the surface already. I feel like you already know. Because I feel like this person's very dodgy, very cagey here. All right, Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. I do feel like this is a very childlike individual. I mean, this person might come off as someone who's very mature. Maybe they're really great with their business. Really, maybe they're really great with the career here. But I just feel like this person's emotion is very, very, very immature. The Three of Pentacles here, Five of Wands. Uh, there's, you know, I do, I do feel like this person creates a lot of jealousy here. I do feel like this person plays a lot of mind games here. Uh, they definitely are dealing with other options here too. Like they're talking to you, but then they're talking to a lot of different side peoples here. Side people here. Okay. So uh, let's see what else we have here for Capricorn. What else does Capricorn need to know? Look out for work on for October 2020, not October, for November 2023. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Capricorn. For Capricorn. For Capricorn. Okay. With the Nine of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. I just feel like in this situation here, you're just really stressed out, anxious. You feel like you're walking in the eggshell with this person. You're just tired of you putting in all the effort here. Yeah, I feel like you've been fighting really hard for this connection, for this survival of this connection here. And I feel like this person's not even trying here. We have the Nine of Swords here and the Hierophant Taurus energy. And then we have the Five of Cups here and the Moon. The Moon, Cancer, Pisces energy here. This person, you know, it just seems like this person has a lot of secrets. It seems like this person cannot do right by you. It seems like this person is very manipulative, very defensive here. Okay. 
Seems like anything that you bring up, this person gets really defensive. This person, and you'll start screaming at you, uh, yelling at you, throwing things at you. I just, this person lose, completely loses control, loses their mind here. I do feel like this person has anger issues, okay? The Hierophant. We have the Star card, Aquarius Energy, the Nine of Swords, and the Death card here. So what's happening is I feel like you'd rather end this connection here and start your healing process here. Because I feel like in this situation here, you're losing hope. Yeah, you're losing hope here, but I feel like you're optimistic and hopeful for yourself that you could get past this and hopefully in the future move towards someone new and allow someone new to come into your life, uh, Capricorn. So I'm with the Eight of Pentacles here. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Eight of Pentacles in the world. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. Yeah, so what's happening here is I feel like you're compl you're just moving on from the situation. You're no longer wasting any more time on this, okay? You know, I just feel like you wasted enough time dealing with this person i feel like you've been really patient with this person you know i feel like you've given, given this person opportunities here to prove themselves to you and i feel like this person keeps squashing it yeah these this person keeps squashing it keeps ruining this opportunity here with the ten of pentacles and the jud judgment card you know i do feel like they do want to reconcile here with you you know they do want to reconcile here with you but you're not really paying any attention to this person this person's going to try they're going to try and regain your trust. They're going to try and make peace with you. They're going to try and heal the situation here. But you're going to realize that, you know, with the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups, you're realizing that you're just going to be, you're, you're, you're happier on your own without having to deal with all the situation with this individual. I mean, obviously, you know, breaking up with someone is pretty darn sad. You know, it's a, it's a hard thing to go through. But I just feel like you're just accepting it for what it is. And you just feel like you're just moving forward here, Capricorn. Yeah, not a not a pentacles. Yeah, you're right. You just rather be alone than actually to deal with this person here because, you know, when you're dealing with this person, you just feel very alone. Yeah, you feel like you're by yourself. You feel like you're an island on your own here. You know, and you know, there's a lack of support from this individual here. You know, there's a lack of support. There's a lack of equal give and take here. Okay, and I feel like you're realizing that you know what you deserve better, and you're just closing the cycle out. And you're just going out there to manifest on your own, okay? So Capricorn, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.